What was I thinking? You get stood up? My boyfriend dumped me. Enjoy the club. This February. Maybe we should just call ourselves the Broken Heart Club. Four women. <laughs> Four stories of friendship. I don't need someone else that's just going to disappoint me. Don't give up too soon. A new movie every week. We're solving each other's romance. I think this is a brilliant idea. These four films that are either standalone or connected, and you can watch them in whatever order. Um, so each of you did four films. So how long did all this take? Mm, Almost three. exactly three months of shooting. Yeah, I yeah. think we began on May 3rd and we ended up finishing because we had to add a couple days on August 3rd. Yeah, gee, that yeah. doesn't seem like that much. So it must have been a really tight machine. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, these women are so well-defined, so distinct, and they retain it over the 10 years. And um, Brittany, you know, you're, you're keeping to this character over a long period of time, mm -hmm. um, you know, story-wise and time-wise. Yeah. So how did you keep her? How did you keep her there for you? Well, I think it's um it's one of those things where, you know, as people, we evolve and we have these small things that change within us all the time. Um, and the same is true for the characters that we get to play in these movies. I think Nicole is somebody who's very well defined in terms of how she sees herself, but that evolves and changes throughout her film. So that evolution and that understanding of herself continues to grow as she sees her friends dealing with their own challenges and their own um, movies. So, you know, she's, she's somebody that continues to grow as these films progress and she becomes, even though she clings to, you know, her, her hopeless romanticism, she definitely grows with, with the films and she continues to evolve and change and learn more about herself as that time passes. So I think that's, that's a big part of it is just allowing yourself to evolve and grow within the character the same way that we do day in and day out as people. That's great. Now, Chantel, um, your character is the most settled. Lauren's married with a child, uh, but we learned that she gave up her dream. And so now she's ready to try. The, her child's still in the house. It's not as though she's gone off to school and now suddenly you have nothing to do. Right. But that that's an important message for women, I, I believe. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Lauren is still very much involved in her family, as you can see. She's doing soccer and planning birthday parties and, you know, even at the same time, helping her ex-husband with all his work stuff still. She is still very much has her hands in a lot of different things. And then, of course, with her friends as well. But this time around, she decided she needs to do something for herself. Yes. Um, so amongst all the other challenges that surround her, she said, this is my time now, and I'm going to do what I've always dreamed of doing, which is open this art gallery and collect art and share that with the world. And so I thought that was always so beautiful to see that she had this like um, evolving, like Brittany's been talking about, just this evolution of self and just wanting to stand firm in who she is and what she loves doing and taking the steps to make that happen. Yes, and she has, she has a very gentle way about herself too, which is nice, especially given that she's, she's balancing so many people, more people than your co-stars characters are. Uh, yes. So, you know, way to go. Now, Lily, your your character is uh, an athlete. She's strong willed. She's disciplined and in some ways sort of meshed up with her love life. And it, and it begins to kind of define her, her and them in a way. Could you explain that to me? The, the strong will in in her personality, the, the, the chasing the athletic dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she is, She. I think she has, um, she holds on to a lot of things from her past, right? So that dream of the, um, of the marathon of, and of always doing that, you know, even, even though there's been a lot of setbacks in her life, she never really let that go and has always been wanting to, to pursue it. And, uh, and I love that that is, a, that is one of the main things in her movie, as much as it is about romance, it is also about what she wants to do with her dream and the fact that she's always wanted to do this and just is, you know, fearlessly pursuing it and calls up for friends for help. <laughs> So are you an athlete or did you have to like get out on the road? <laughs> I I am not an athlete. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you had me fooled. <laughs> well, you know, That's look funny. at look at the three of them laughing now. <laughs> they know. <laughs>
<laughs> well, you, you faked us out, but good. Uh, Camille, your character is the most um, outrageous of the group. She's <laughs> she's the outlier. She's the, you know, carve her own path, which is an admirable thing. She spent her life being that way, and she's really solidified it now because she's committing to herself. And then a guy comes along. So explain how she manages to make that switch in her head of this long-time goal and then this sudden Ooh. revision. I think for her, it's about reconciling, for Tara, it's about reconciling you can have both, that you can mm. pursue this dream, you can go hard, you can actually find support in a partner, you can find someone that lifts you up and encourages your dreams. Um, and we see that in how they, uh, you know, make music together and the evolution there. Um, and you can have love, although it's hard, it actually both can contribute to the overall same goal, which is this like one life, that it isn't so divided. And these women uh, show her that in bits as she's discovering these parts of herself, kind of each one of them allows her to sit in and feel those different new parts that she's shoved down so hard. Yeah, um, yeah there's a like, there's that really nice moment um, that builds actually through the four films where Chantal's character, Lauren, comes in and they have a heart to heart and they had one and they have a heart to heart in, in Lauren's story too. And um, yeah, those moments build so that by the time we get to Terry's story, we get to see um, she's able to be vulnerable like that and she's yes. able to open up and they each do that with each other. Yeah. yeah. And part of her strength is in her appearance. She's She wears a lot of leather. She wears heavier oh things. yeah but i just want to say i love that beige sweater with the frills and i think it's in every oh. film isn't it yeah the one that the kind of beigey white really? cream and it's got the and two metal? front frills yeah yeah <laughs> that's a pretty epic uh <laughs> yes monica did an excellent wardrobe design for for tara i i loved a lot of those pieces yeah 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 well wow. i think the wardrobe is so much fun to watch you know this is a film that is, um, there's a lot of heart in it, but there's also the visual, the clothing, the apartments, you know, the town and, and the different settings. Um, I think it's just really fun, really kind of fulfilling watching all these things. Now, I think, I was trying to guess, I think you're in Hamilton, I think you're in Toronto, mm -hmm. and I think there were scenes shot, but you weren't necessarily in Vancouver. So am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah we were in Hamilton. Uh, so yeah, we shot everything in St. Catherine's. Pretty much. Well, yeah, Saint Catherine's near St. Jacob's at one point. That's another part of it, a little bit of a travelogue, which is always great if you recognize it as we do in Ontario. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, oh, thank yeah. You, thank you so much, ladies. What a pleasure to speak to you. And what a great idea Love Club is. We are not a Broken Hearts Club. <gasps> We're the Love Club. The Love Club. Four-part movie event every Monday this February. Only on W.